Click the first link in the description for the best Ask Reddit content. I'm having an affair with my husband. My husband and I were having a hard time together, as lockdown ended and he's busy all day and doesn't spend time with us. We don't fight, but we definitely miss the spark we had in early stage of our relationship. We've been married for 10 years and dated for 5. We're having difficulties with sharing our problem with each other, like we did in early stage of our relationship. Recently I talked to NY husband about this, and he suggested that we should make fake account on FB and we should pretend we're total strangers. First it was really really weird. We were acting as stranger which talking to each other. I jokingly asked him about his wife and he proceeded to write a long rant on me. It was fun, we learned a lot about our mistakes. It brought spark back in our life. But he's different guy when he acts like Mike, his fake -uck. I like Mike more than my husband. Real life and the life we both share on FB is very different. It's really exciting, we dare each other. Lot of sexting. We act like a teenager while we're on FB. But sometimes I feel like I'm cheating in him. It's a weird feeling really hard to explain. Like inside our house we're husband and wife, and outside we're Mike and June. We're trying this for two months and I'm in love with this Mike guy my husband has been playing. Is it okay to feel this way? Should we continue doing this? And what can we do to improve this lifestyle? TL, Dr. Husband and I were having kind of hard time communicating with each other. He came with an idea to overcome that. It's roleplay. You've both consented to it, you're both enjoying it. Stage a meet up and have the pina colada song play. This is role playing. I do it with my husband in a schoolgirl uniform, you're doing it over Facebook. I wouldn't be ashamed, I know I think my husband is sexy in a cop uniform and what you're doing is no different. What matters is that you are doing it with your life partner and not with another person. Please do not listen to these people saying this is dangerous or the wrong path. It's simply not. There is no danger to this, I have never woken up in the morning thinking I was married to a cop, but I do wake up knowing that I'm married to a sexy, assertive man. It just takes a uniform to get that out. Yeah it honestly just sounds like they were both getting bored and needed a little novelty in their relationship. This has sparked some passion back into both their lives, which sounds great to me. Try out some in-person role play too. I think this is really cute. I'm in love with this Mike guy my husband has been playing. Is it okay to feel this way? I think most people would think it's okay to be in love with your husband. Like inside our house we're husband and wife, and outside we're Mike and June. Well, a lot of people wear a lot of faces. On the road you're driver, in the office you might be manager or nurse. Dot. The main question is, do you like being Mike and June? This post seems to indicate you certainly do. To me this seems like a very healthy way of venting frustrations and finding variety slash spice in life. Mike and June could go on date nights, wear funky clothes, do sexy vacations, start new hobbies, do things that you and your husband wouldn't. People get into ruts and just tread the same grooves over and over. People get tired of each other and drift apart, it sounds like you're refinding each other and drifting closer together. In my opinion, what you have is rare and precious and you should cherish it. Mike is just another part of your husband. Probably a part he doesn't feel like he's allowed to express in day-to-day -day life for some reason. There are lots of reasons that can happen. Just talk about it. Figure out how to help your husband feel okay about being like Mike around you when you're together. You might just feel more free when you're not held to your usual dynamic. Try to remember that your husband is Mike, all the good qualities Mike has come from him. My, 27F husbands, 32M, friend, 26F, just died. I think he was in love with her. Please tell me if I'm overreacting or seeing things that aren't there. I guess that is possible, and that's why I post here. Oh also we have been together for 7 years married for 4. My husband had this co-worker slash friend for about 3 years, 
let's call her Helen. I did not know too much about her TBH. I know she joined his team at work and they started to become friends. They shared a hobby that I don't share and they sometimes met up for that. Sometimes one on one and sometimes with other co-workers. I just saw her a couple of times. I did get a jealous gut feeling, also because she was attractive and charming, sometimes but there was no real evidence for something weird going on, and I have a bunch of male co-worker friends too who he was always cool with too so I told myself there was nothing going on. Did not get the impression that they were overly close, it mostly just seemed like a mostly casual co-worker friendship. Two weeks ago he got the news that she passed away in an accident. He actually had a day off and I was around when he got the phone call, he instantly became deathly pale and just collapsed and started screaming slash crying. He is normally not a guy who expresses emotions strongly so it caught me by surprise but off anyone would react emotional on hearing about a friend's death. And yet I now cannot stop comparing it to the time he learned of his actual brother's death a few years ago, the two were pretty close but he reacted much less and barely shed tears. Anyway, that alone wouldn't mean anything but afterwards a few things piled up that make me feel strange. I learned later from one of his co-workers that he immediately offered to adopt Helen's daughter, she was a single mother, he has not told me about this or consulted me beforehand. However apparently it is already decided who the daughter will go to anyway. He has written to her parents and asked them for something to remember her by. I saw an email from an artist indicating he has commissioned him to paint a portrait of her. Since her death he has barely been eating or sleeping and seems to be in extreme grief altogether. He starts crying multiple times every day and is barely able to function. I would expect this level of grief after the death of a family member slash spouse, not necessarily after a casual friend like she seemed to be, especially from him. To be honest maybe I would think less like this if our marriage hadn't felt a little loveless in a while. He just does not seem seem overly interested in me anymore since one or two years. We still have sex and he kisses slash cuddles me but it seems mechanical. I felt like he has been distracted by something and wasn't really actually seeing me most of the time. So how the hell do I handle this? Do I shut up and just try to work on reviving our marriage? If there was nothing going on and he is truly just grieving a friend I would of course look like a total asshole if I bring this up in any way. Underscore. TL, doctor, husband's co-worker slash friend died and from his reaction I feel like he was in love with her. Hey, op. There is a lot of great advice here. But I just wanted to make sure to highlight this. To be honest maybe I would think less like this if our marriage hadn't felt a little loveless in a while. He just does not seem overly interested in me anymore since one or two years. We still have sex and he kisses slash cuddles me but it seems mechanical. I felt like he has been distracted by something and wasn't really actually seeing me most of the time. Have you talked to your husband about this? Now may not be the best time but you may want to consider sitting him down and talking to him about this at some point. Maybe marriage counseling would help too. I was ready to defend him and say men can go through grief etc. But him offering to adopt her kid and commissioning a portrait is what puts it into weird territory. The portrait, adoption, and reaching out to her parents are all super weird. We all process grief and emotions differently but it might be worthwhile discussing it with him. Don't phrase it like this this is just a gist. Hey no offense but commissioning a portrait, offering to adopt her daughter who you probably weren't that close to, and then bothering her parents for an item are all pretty weird for a work friend. How about counseling so you can process your grief in a productive way? Wow the people in these comments are being way too forgiving. This is your husband and he literally has talked about adopting another woman's child without your consent. WTF. You need to talk to him and figure out what's going on. Regardless of the grief, the things that he has done are not okay. You are his wife and he is not being respectful of you or your partnership and has crossed so many lines. It's unacceptable. You've got two separate issues to deal with here. Start with the red flags and then move on to the grief portion, right? Everyone is like yeah. Maybe offering to adopt her kid is a little excessive but we all process grief differently. Nah, 
This whole thing is fucking weird. This married man screamed in grief when his co-worker died, and now he wants her kid, wants a portrait of her, and wants something physical to remember her by. The fact that he was in love with her is as clear as day. I'm sorry. It sucks to see the man you love grieving so badly, but I imagine it's even harder to see him grieving the loss of the other woman. I dude, I see people saying this could be normal, but him getting a portrait, offering to adopt her daughter, and contacting her parents is way too much. That isn't normal, sorry. My, 36F, husband, 36M, is acting weird about my new job. For the first time in our relationship, I'm out earning him. I think this is the problem. So, six months ago I got a huge promotion at work. Like, gigantically huge. It's been really challenging but I'm doing well. I have been married for eight years and during the course of the marriage I have been outturned by husband by quite a bit. Money has never been an issue, it's not like he ever said, this is all my money but he has made little jokes here and there. About three years ago we had a serious discussion where he told me that he wanted to take our lifestyle to the next level. Nothing frivolous, we live in the Boston area and want to buy property, but he felt stressed out and burdened because it would make us much more reliant on his income. I dropped out of college about halfway through, and he urged me to go back to school so I could earn the higher income. I did go back and I'm super glad I did. After my promotion, I am out earning him by around 30k annually. He was super excited and happy for me at first, but now he gets weird when money comes up. We've been able to save for a down payment on a house but he gets very touchy any time I bring up the fact that my new income allows us to up our budget considerably. Back in the day we had an in-joke about how I was going to go shopping for clothes, or on Amazon or whatever and I would say I was going to spend all his money. He bought some expensive shoes and I jokingly said, don't spend all my money and he blew up at me. There are a couple of other smaller incidents where he has been sensitive about money. He wouldn't out and out say it but I think he is feeling emasculated by my new salary. We share all finances, so he's reaping the benefit of more money and I know he is proud of me. But he insists that he is happy about it when his actions speak otherwise. TL, Dr. Husband makes less money than me now and seems to be in his feelings about it but won't admit he's in his feelings. I think I have been the other side of this. My wife left school at 16 and worked for a retail bank on the counter for the first half of her career. For most of our marriage I was the higher earner, the breadwinner and such like. I supported us whilst she went to college as a mature student, and whilst she worked her way up the IT structure in another retail bank. A number of things changed in our lives, including my health, and now I don't work and my wife earns very good money as an IT contractor. It is hard to separate all the issues that cropped up, but my view of my role in our relationship and friendship circles was no longer supported by the evidence. IT took me several years to become happy with our new position, most of it spent nursing a bruised ego and not having the words to describe my life when people expect your description to start with the job you do. What has helped me with this is finding that not only was I very proud of what my wife had achieved, but that she was proud of what I had. She will happily shoot down anyone who questions why she lives with a freeloader and makes it very clear to me and others that there is no way she can do what she does without my help. We've built a common future, and we both play our roles in this. As an example moved to a new town, from city to country etc. A few years ago and it was my job to find a place in this community, make new friends and build our new routines. So, this would be the only advice I can offer, build that common dream, assign the tasks to get there and never undermine each other. Only discuss your joint net income if you have to discuss this at all. When deciding what you can afford look at what the two of you have, not what you can contribute. Good luck. I earn about 20k more than my husband. He loves it. He keeps joking that if I get a promotion he's going quit to be a stay at home dad. Sorry your husband is giving you static. Not sure what to tell you other than keep earning and get him a therapist. If he really can't handle you earning more, I'm not sure anyone can fix that but a professional. 
Sometimes the years spent with society programming certain broken belief systems into people can be hard to overcome. Maybe he needs a therapist, or maybe he just needs time to come to terms with it. I've been on medical leave for over a year, pretty much all of it unpaid, and I just learned that the department I worked in has been dissolved, so I don't even have a job waiting for me. We've been okay though, because after many years of grad school, my wife has a tenure track professor's job, and we're doing okay, thanks to her income. I've had a few minor crises of feeling like I'm just a burden on my family, but those have been thankfully infrequent feelings, and intellectually, I know things are fine, and I'm good with my wife having a great job. This is her dream job, it would be unreasonable of me to not fully support her. Hopefully your husband is also just needing to sort out some minor feelings, and this is no big concern. I told my BF this and his response I feel for him to have taken it that way, he wasn't ever just joking about the don't spend my money. Have a heart to heart. Make it clear, the time for jokey comments about money is over. In fact it should never have started. While you aren't telling him I told you so he does need to self reflect and realize, when you earned less, and he joked about you spending all his money. It hurt. Why? because it didn't mean you weren't working as hard as he was because you were doing what you could to contribute and now he understands, the joke isn't funny explain, you are a partnership and together you are attaining the goals you've set out together that needs to be the focus now focus on the fact that you support and encourage each other he does need to flex that self-awareness here he held his income over your head and you assumed he meant nothing negative the second you made the same joke he assumed it was negative. The fact is, it's because he didn't have positive intent when he made those comments. His ego got tied up in it. 